life wide open, the place to live extraordinarily. I am Barbara Earl and this is my Neuroscience Pearl. I thought I would take a breather from my recent posts and describe to you my method of madness. The last four weeks were focused on stress and three physical keys to enhance neuroplasticity. In the weeks to come, the episodes will focus on emotional and cognitive health. My intention was and still is to bring to light two things. change an ineffective thought, emotion, or action, and to learn a new skill or task, be it cognitive, physical, or emotional. Strong and well-developed neural pathways are deeply ingrained in our brains, be they effective or ineffective. Both pathways take time to weaken or strengthen, and one of the most efficient ways to weaken ineffective pathways is to create new ones, ones that you honor ones that you honor your values, and ones worth changing for. This is the neuroplasticity we all possess. Number two, create, get curious, and enhance. Great. You've started creating new neural pathways. Now what? It is worth your while to look at ways to support your neuroplasticity creations. Get curious about three areas of personal health, physical, emotional, and cognitive. My hope is that you take a non-judgmental look to see where you can make adjustments. Enhancing these three areas will also enhance neuroplasticity. Recently, Barb Earl and my Neuroscience Pearl has explored physical health, exercise, nutrition, and sleep. The next three weeks, I'll explore emotional health and how it influences neuroplasticity. Today's introductory episode is entitled, Six Life Lessons I Learned from Vlogging. Definitely appropriate for emotional health. Join me this week for a look at life itself. Of course, from a neuroscience point of view, but more than that, from an understanding of what it means to be human. Until we meet in person, brain to brain, heart to heart, ciao.